What is a going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about editing YouTube thumbnails because it is just one of those things that not everyone is good at, myself included, because editing video, shooting video, and then sort of creating a thumbnail, they're two different skill sets, right? One's graphic design, one isn't. And I'm definitely not a graphic designer and I'm sure a lot of people out there will need help as well. So there's a lot of tools online that help us with that. Canva is quite a popular one, but I've been, you know, I used that for a little bit and I kind of got bored and I was looking at different tools available and I stumbled across this one called photor.com. That's F-O-T-O-R.com. Com and it is a sort of like a photo editing site. So it does all the edits that you want to do. So similar to Photoshop, not as powerful obviously, but similar. You can also create collages. If maybe you've gone on a trip and you want to send a bunch of pictures to a friend in a nice layout, you can do that too. But the thing I want to look at is the design aspect of it because it allows you to create not only Facebook posts, Instagram posts, but YouTube thumbnails, channel art, Anything you need, it's got it here. So let's jump in. So this is the site here when you go to it, photo.com. You can obviously choose to edit a photo, make a collage, or create a design. Today, we're going to create a design. So we're gonna click on that, and it's gonna open it up to its design page where we can have a look at a couple of different things that they've recommended to us, or we can go up to the top here, we can search a template. So what we're gonna actually do is, on the far left, is we're gonna find templates. So we're just gonna click on that, and in the new tab, you can see that on the left-hand side here, we have a bunch of different categories, blogs, posters, business cards, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all that. So we're gonna go to thumbnail, but obviously a bunch of different things there. So if you're creating like wedding invitations, whatever, you're gonna be covered. So we're gonna go to YouTube thumbnail and we're gonna look at all the thumbnails, all of the, the thumbnails. And you can see here that it populates different ones down here that we can have a look at and we can share them straight away to different social media, you know, ask for people's opinions, all that sort of stuff. Thing to note about these photos. So if it has this little banner at the top, it is a pro thumbnail or image or whatever, and that means you obviously need to upgrade to Photor Pro, which is about like eight bucks a month or something. So if you your business relies around graphic design, going and signing up to Photor Pro is probably not a bad idea because you get access to thousands of different sort of templates that you can use. And so, yeah, if your business revolves around it, probably not a bad idea. For the time being, you know, we're gonna use some free ones. So we just wanna look for ones without that little banner. And remember that everything in the image is editable. Text, photo, font, color, everything. So we're just looking for the general layout. All right, so in the technology section of the thumbnails, I found this one here, VR gameplay, most crazy game ever. I like the layout of this one few different text elements, one picture to draw your attention. I like it. So let's click on this one. It's gonna bring us to some more information about it. We can obviously add it to favorites if we wanna use it later, but we're just gonna focus on the edit this template button where it's gonna open up the editor in a separate tab. Now, one thing to note is this works so much better in Chrome than any other browser. So I'd recommend using Chrome if you're going to use Photor. And so now we have everything here and you can see that we can click on all the different elements and that makes them all completely editable. So let's bring in our own photo so that we can obviously make it our own. So I'm gonna click over here, go import. It's gonna bring up a file browser and I'm just gonna to go to desktop, thumbnail, and I'm gonna open this thumbnail that I have on my desktop. Bring it up here, it's gonna import it in and now we can use that in our edit. So we're gonna go through and delete a few things. So we're gonna delete the background by clicking on it, hit delete, and then it's got this other background, so we're gonna click on that and hit delete and we're gonna drag in our image. We're gonna use this as our background. So we're gonna position it, resize it, make sure that it covers the background, nothing too special. All right, we're gonna move it down. All right, and now what we're gonna do is under the more, we're actually gonna make sure that the layer is selected. We're gonna move it to the bottom just so all the text is over the top. Looks good. And we're gonna leave it like that. And so we're just gonna go edit the text. So I'm gonna change the gameplay one. We're gonna go MacBook Air because that's what this is and what we're trying to. So we're gonna go MacBook Air and just a few exclamation. And then we're gonna change VR. We're actually gonna change this one to 4K. I'm gonna go back, back, 4K. Maybe change the color of it because I'm not a yellow fan. So let's pick a 
what colour sort of stands out. Black, all right. Let's go black because it stands out, I think. Yeah, let's go black and let's change this text here to better, better than you think, exclamation point. Fantastic. Again, we're going to change the color because I'm not a yellow fan, so we're going to click on that, maybe make it red. Just have a look at some different colors that, you know, we can even pick a really like intense color if we want to. Maybe something that it isn't using. So yeah, something like that looks good. And then we can also change these bar colors here if we want to, or get rid of them completely. I reckon we're gonna keep them. Just add a bit more color to the image. Yeah, let's underline it. And just like that, we've created a quick image that we can now export by going up here, saving it, and you're gonna to have to log in with your Facebook account or email, and then you can save it out as a JPEG and use it in your you know, YouTube channel and whatever you want. So that is photor.com, a really great way to create thumbnails. If you aren't a graphic designer like myself, covers all your bases for you, and there's so many templates out there, you don't have to get the free one if you don't, although like I said, if you do like a lot of social branding for other people, it's probably not a bad idea to go for the pro version. I think it's great to see the other different bits of software that's out there. Obviously Canva is quite a popular one people talk about. I haven't really heard too many people talk about Photor. Before we go though, I wanna actually talk about Photor on your phone because they actually have an app and it's a little bit different to say how it works on the website where you can't really do graphic design work but you can do photo editing and I was surprised at how well it works. So let's just have a quick look at how it works on your phone. And you can see I've got photo down here, nice colorful icon. If I click on it, you can see we get a different option. So we've got camera, edit, collage. So you can create collages, you click on that and you've got different versions you can create. Great if you wanna create like a grid or something for that, like Instagram or post on Facebook or whatever, share with friends. So you can do that. Obviously you've got camera, so you can take photos, whatever. But we're looking at edit. So we're gonna to go to photography. So I've got a bunch of photos here. So let's just click on one that isn't super edited. So like this one here, you can see down the bottom here, we have a bunch of options. So we've got effects and so we can click that. And they're basically like filters, not making too much of a difference because it's obviously a very black and white, very black and white sort of photo. You see here, it's creating changes. But we also got adjustments that we can make. So we can obviously make it brighter, maybe boost the contrast lower the saturation, you know, make it super sharp if we, ooh, that's intense. You know, add a vignette, all that different thing. We can change the temperature, change the tint. And we even have curves that appear on the screen, adding points and all that sort of stuff. We can change the different sort of color range and all that, like it is pretty, pretty like advanced stuff. Like this is actually, and it works, I like faster than Lightroom on your phone, which is funny. You can change like the, the detail if you want to. So that brings out a bit of the snow. We can even do like graduated detail if you want. So that's kind of cool. And you even have different scenes. So you can change the lighting on it. Like again, like this isn't, you can add text if you want to, you know. Again, this is just something I stumbled across because I was using the website, saw they had an app. I was like, I'm gonna check this out. Maybe I can do it on my phone. And I was like, what? This is actually a really great photo editor. I just never heard of it before. So yeah, if you want to check it out, you know, Photor, it's in the App Store, Google Play Store, check it out. And yeah, so that's how you create really easy thumbnails for your YouTube channel, guys. If you're not a graphic designer, check it out, Photor, F-O-T-O-R.com. I'll leave another link to another couple of different ones down below as well if you want to check them out. Really great for people that aren't graphic designers that want to create some pretty cool looking thumbnails for their videos. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe for more content. And until the next one, see ya.